Oh, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso, you're live on S3, and we have a surprise for you. Singer, songwriter Gemma Griffiths joins us this morning following the release of a new album on the 28th of January. That's still fresh. Even though Gemma was born in Cape Town, she grew up in Harare, Zimbabwe, where she has gone to, on to perform on many, many uh, music and art festival stages around the world, such as the Harare International Festival of Arts and headlining the Zimfest London in 2015. And you know what? The CV just keeps on piling up. Mm, mm, mm. I could have said that more now, does, but I have to stop there. It does. The list continues indeed. Now, Gemma has a new single entitled Kuale and has a dosi, well, a dosi called A Girl from Harare. The tracks that are, well, this track uh, travels through Africa and it's a docu that is absolutely something to look forward to. Now, here's a look at that music video of the new track. Check it out. <laughs> Ambience is here, the vibes are here. It's something hey. I could play all day long. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. Let's welcome this beautiful soul, Gemma in the building. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> how are you this morning? So good, it's early. It's early, mm. but yet you're like just slaying the obstacles coming your way. You woke up early, you're looking so fresh at this time in the morning, and I just watched you doing like a little bit of a, sort of like a fresh little start in the morning, and your yeah. keyboard just went wonky. No stress for you, just get another one. Doesn't matter, I'll keep doing my thing. Impressive, <laughs> impressive stuff. Indeed, and I'm clearly you, seeing sir. why the new song Kuala is also yes. as impressive as representing so much when it comes to just you, yeah. obviously the person, a place, a time. Tell me about it exactly, because this is fresh, like Carl said, 28th of Jan, yeah. a few days ago. I you get in first dibs on this. Yes. <laughs> These babies are new. So, so Kuala was a track that I wrote um, um, while I was in Kuala, which mm. is a place on the coast of Kenya. Basically, 2018, I decided to try and make some music in total immersion. And so I bought a Land Rover. Well, didn't buy. I borrowed a Land Rover. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the Nielsen's. <laughs> and um, packed my studio into the car and just started driving. And yeah, lived in the car for almost two years. And Kuala was a place that I kept sort of coming back to on the beach. And, and so I was lying in the sand writing this writing this track and it named itself i guess after the I'm jealous because you literally did what i think everybody wants to do yes get in a car drive away just drive immerse yourself and see what happens and how lucky we are for that almost <laughs> two years yeah 500 days how do you tell the difference yeah. between boot space and headspace in that moment yeah it's you like, know you have like your little sections, you know, you've got sections and you had, I mean, it was like a proper house, the full roof tent and the solar oh, panels cool. and the fridge and it was amazing. That it's is, awesome. it's great. And, and now I know the EP dropped late last month. Yes. Uh, last month was December. People are usually joining, no, last relaxing. Month was, uh, is it, is January. It, oh, January. Oh, we of in course. We're sorry. In yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just it's, 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 it's so good, but of course, January. Um, and, you know, just kind of bringing the EP together. Yeah. Like, with all the inspiration, yeah. all the Land Rovers and... That sort of thing. Like, how did you put that all together? That was amazing. You know, I think I set out on this on this trip knowing that I wanted to create something, um, but I wasn't quite sure what that was, and so I sort of allowed the music to create for me. And the, the EP, A Girl from Harare, it's called, um, really is sort of a collection of stories that I collected along the way. Some my own, some experiences, some about places, and then some that people told me. Um, and that sort of just formed into this, this nine-track EP called Beautiful. A Girl from Harare. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. But it's not just you that's performing. I mean, obviously, one would imagine you're going to a place like that, you find yourself, you want to express yourself fully. Yeah. Sometimes people collaborate just like you, and yeah, you find that absolutely. you don't necessarily need to express on your own, but you need to do it with other people. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that so important to you? And on that note, let me just say this. We want you to put out some new collaborations that you're dying to maybe get involved in because <laughs> everything that you speak about on the show comes to fruition. So there we go. a two-part question. Maybe asking you both as to why you love the collaboration so much and is there anyone else that you may be looking forward to collaborating with? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I love collaboration because I think it really is, music is such a powerful thing and, and it's a way to connect with people and it's a really great way to communicate with each other. Um, and I've always been very 
sort of authentic with the people that I collaborate with. They're people that I get along with and, and that we sort of connect with. Um, and so as I was traveling, you know, I also, I met some really cool artists and collaboration sort of came out. Um, and it's a great way to connect to, to other audiences and to bring people back to Zimbabwe and, and the beautiful things that happen there as well. Um, so yeah, it was a big part of, a big part of my journey so far. Um, in terms of people I would love to collaborate with, how much time do you have? I, <laughs> I think you get inspired by people, but um, in South Africa, I really, I, I think you guys have phenomenal, phenomenal creatives. Um, I love Nadia Nakai and Rouge Rapper, um, Shekina. I know I'm mentioning all girls. I don't worry, a lot. <laughs> a lot of them were on okay. the show yesterday, yeah. so they're probably still watching. Yes, woo! Um, <laughs> and shout out to Shasha as well, who's an amazing Zim artist who's based in Joburg, who I would love to work with one day as well. Okay. Yeah. Well, the names have been dropped, and if you're listening, Gemma Griffiths, <laughs> hit her up on LinkedIn. Right. <laughs> so the, let's talk about the, the documentary. Yeah. I know the, the docky, it's, a, it's, it's definitely a journey that connected to what you just told us about as well. Just give us the gist as to what we can expect from the docky as well. Yeah, so A Girl From Harare, the documentary, was sort of just taking you through the journey. I mean, yeah. there is so much incredible footage um, that sort of came from this 500 days, 24,000 kilometers driving across the continent. Um, and so we put it together into this beautiful sort of piece that takes you through um, the Zim music scene, uh, the, the trip itself, and then the creation of this EP, uh, which I think is really special to be able to see a bit about uh, you know the making of, but also just these amazing places. You know that we yeah. that we were so lucky to travel to the Karimba Archipelago, the Bwindi Impenetrable Forest. It's it's an amazing continent. Wow, well, Gemma, I can't thank you enough for joining us this thank morning. You. you are looking absolutely ready to set off from Zanzi, and that's exactly what's going to happen just in a moment. Gemma's going to be giving us three performances that are absolutely going to light up, set the mood, and get you into the spirit that you need to get over hump day. And speaking of which, uh, to get you over maybe some of those breakfast hunger pains as well, here's something special for you in the kitchen. <laughs> 